Time is ticking and your photography business deserves to break that six figure barrier. I know it sounds scary, but what's holding you back? Many sessions, an obsession with making your images perfect, or the misunderstanding of how many hours you actually have to work to be a great business owner. Hey, I'm Sarah Petty, and in this video, we're cutting through these barriers with immediate effect. No more waiting. Let's grab a hot cup of tea and jump right into it. I want to challenge you to drop the artistry over business mindset. Many photographers believe that their craft should take total and complete precedence over their business. And listen, that is important. But while it's essential to have a passion for photography, remember that if you want to run it as a business and to make it profitable, you need to know your numbers. You need to understand your target market. You need to know how to serve them and create a brand that means something to your clients and managing cash flow and projections and finances as well. And if you wait until your photography is just perfect to learn all of those other things, you're going to miss a ton of opportunities. I also think it's important to discard the field of dreams. If I build it and they will come mindset. Remember that movie? <laughs> just because you're a skilled photographer or you have invested in a studio or a bunch of fancy equipment, it doesn't guarantee you a steady stream of clients. Some of the best photographers I know could not make it as professional photographers and had to get a job outside the photography industry. Really good photographers too. The thing is, as photographers, we have to constantly be actively marketing our business, which brings us customers so that we can be reaching our potential as a business owner. And we've got to be consistent about it. We also have to know how to price our photography for the niche that we're in. And you also have to know your what and your why. It's really what you tell people that creates value that sets you apart from your competition. So get out there, talk to people, educate people on what makes you different and show people why they should choose you over others. Doesn't just happen without you talking to people. Also, abandon the price race to the bottom mindset. That actually sounds like it could be a reality show. Price race to the bottom. <laughs> Can't you see it? Because that's what everyone does. They think I should lower my prices because I'm new or I'm not that experienced or whatever it is. And that is not a strategy that's going to get you the right clients. Instead, it sends a message that your work lacks quality. Remember, People don't just buy the photography, they're buying the experience. And even if you're new, you can create an unforgettable client experience that justifies your pricing. And bonus tip, if you actually focus on producing beautiful pieces of wall art, instead of just giving away digital files and leaving the client to figure out what to do with them on their own, you'll never have to worry about being the cheapest photographer again. Also, let's eliminate the I must do everything mindset. Because as a business owner, I get it, we have to wear many hats, but trying to do everything yourself can lead to burnout. You've got to learn to delegate tasks be it post-production work, social media management, simple cleaning, or bookkeeping. And listen, you don't have to have a huge budget. You can trade for these services. I've traded for graphic design services. I traded for house cleaning for years. I even traded for custom curtains once. And I got all of those things in trade for providing photography services. How cool is that? So focus on what makes you money. The three big things, marketing, selling, and photographing sessions and outsource the rest. Next, say goodbye to the fear of failure mindset. Listen, every successful photographer makes mistakes at some point and often many points. It's a natural part of the journey and something we say is failure is learning. It's just part of it. And I find students in my programs who take action and fail get to the finish line way faster than people who are petrified of making a mistake. Because when you do it and you fail, you learn. Just like when you learn to walk, you fell down and you realize, oh, I don't want to lean that way or I'll fall down. And you got better. I really want to challenge you to embrace failure as an opportunity to learn and improve and grow. Listen, 
To unlock a six-figure photography business, it's critical to cultivate a growth mindset and make smart business decisions. Remember, every mindset can be reshaped and every thought pattern can be changed because we were brought into the world without any beliefs. If you keep an open mind, anything is possible. If you're ready to upgrade your mindset and be part of a community that can pour all of these new beliefs into you and encourage you and give you all the amazing support you need, seriously, please come join our free Facebook group. I'll stick the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And dude, if you haven't subscribed, do it right now so you can keep getting this amazing content to help grow your photography business. And if you love today's video, click here to get more actionable steps and I'll see you soon.